video was really good future. Today I'm gonna take you in a day in life as a nurse, I guess, whatever you wanna call the series. I don't know what's gonna come about this vlog, so we'll talk about it throughout our shift, so see you guys in a bit. Coffee, banana, food. <sighs> I need it real quick. To be recording, but now I'm at work. It's about 10 o'clock in the evening, and I'm just now catching up on my charting. So I'm actually on neuro ICU today. I just had an admission, and uh, crazy thing is that admission was it wasn't really too hectic, and I just questioning whether or not the patient was in that was meant for ICU, but then again, they wanted continuous uh, monitoring, so I just came in here to grab, what is this? To grab some lube, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm looking for a nasal cannula. Actually did have to get something this time. Uh, my patient is what you call de decompensating, no, no, not decompensating, desaturating. That's when the uh, oxygen levels start to drop in a patient. 12 o'clock midnight. So right now would be a very great lesson to actually teach you guys something who are trying to become nurses. <laughs> this was taught to me by one of my mentors. It's called uh, care cluster. So you're supposed to do everything before you go inside the room or grab everything that you need before you go inside the room so you don't have to run back and forth. I have a terrible time doing that right now. I'm looking for a stat lock. And this holds a Foley catheter in place. 12 seconds later. Gotta give a bath right now. Grabbing a tub and some uh, body wash gel. And it's very important for surgical patients to receive a bath and also a CHG wipe down. So I'm gonna do that right now. What else do I need? I think that's about it. So right now, I am running to a gas station because I am thirsty, <laughs> or not. So it is my second break. I was really hungry, so I just got peanut butter and jelly on wheat. Diet, man, diet. They say there's more sugar in here, but like my blood sugar levels don't fluctuate, to be honest. Eat this right quick. So I'm watching this, uh, you still get hecklers? this video with Obama hecklers? and Jerry you know Seinfeld and <sighs> All right, guys, so I have a very, very simple method for understanding acid base balance or should I say arterial blood gases now this for some people are very it is a very confusing concept now I'm gonna make it as simple as I can just for you to be able to understand so go ahead take a look at this really quick you could even take a picture or screen, screen capture it it doesn't matter these are three simple steps for you to kind of understand how to identify what what the ABG is first things first you want to identify if it is acid or alkalotic. What does that mean? You will always take a look at the pH first. Is it below the normal or is it above? I say normal for pH. You want to remember 7.35 to 7.45. The next thing is, is CO2 opposite or the same as pH? So if the pH is low and the CO2 is increased, remember CO2, respiratory it's going to be acid if the pH is increased and the CO2 is decreased it's going to be alkalotic if they're both in the same direction point or if the pH is low and the CO2 is low you're going to take a look at the bicarb right away that it applies to both these principles right here what you always want to do is take a look at the pH and the CO2 which direction are they going is it is it less than or greater remember that less than or greater is pH greater than normal or less than normal? CO2 greater than normal or less than normal? So once we've identified if it was acid, alkalotic, that's when you kind of have a formula. 
So step three, if pH and CO2 basically go in the same direction, which is less than the normal or greater than the normal, you're going to assume it's a metabolic disorder. Now, with metabolic disorder, HCO3, if it's less than 22, remember it's acid. And if it's greater than 26, alkalotic. Now let's put this into play. I know this might take a lot of time to kind of understand and process, but the more that you practice with it, the more you understand. So this diagram is a very basic way to understand it step by step. There might be some simpler uh, methods, but this is how I understand it. Respiratory acidosis. SN, the pH will always be decreased, so it's less than 7.35. Less than, right? So the CO2 is greater than 45. Greater than 45, less than 7.35. You're talking about respiratory acidosis, the HCO3. It could be either normal, greater than or less than. I'm not really too particular on this because we're just basically looking at these two to, two to identify whether or not it is acid or if it is alkalotic. Respiratory alkalosis. Okay, alka. You always want to remember alka is higher, acid is lower. Greater than 7.45. Since it's not, since it is respiratory based, remember the CO2 is going to be opposite. 7.4 or opposite of this if this is greater respiratory or the co2 will be opposite so it's going to be less than 35 it could be normal don't mind the bicarb here okay we're only going to look at the bicarb when when it's metabolic the bicarb is uh, base is, is an excess it gets a little bit more complicated the more that you do it but um we're talking on a deeper level when you start to go to like icu setting or metabolic acidosis so you always want to assume if it's acidosis right remember what i told you earlier if it's acid it's going to be less than 22. so acidosis you already know the number it's less than 22 right or alkalosis you want to assume that it's greater and 26, 26, there you go, 26. Remember earlier I told you about metabolic, it could be either increase, these two can be in the same direction, they will be in the same direction. Now since it's a metabolic acidosis, remember acidosis, less than 3.5. And this is going to be less than 35. In circumstances when you're talking about like compensation, this is going to be totally different. We're not talking about compensation. We're just easily talking about identifying these basic ABGs. Well, like alkalosis, remember alka, alka. Well, sorry, acidosis. This is supposed to be 3.5. I apologize. Okay, so it's going to be greater than 7.45. Okay. Now, remember, same direction. It's going to be greater than 45. I hope this wasn't too confusing. If you guys are having any kind of confusion, go ahead and leave me a comment. I'll try my best to clear, clarify it. The most important things to do is to memorize your pH, memorize your CO2, and memorize your bicarb. It's very e easy to memorize the pH. Just remember that CO2 is basically the pH, bicarb 22 to 26. Again, I'm trying my best to kind of teach you guys an easier method to kind of understanding this. For me, it's always like pictorials for me to be able to understand. And I hope that helps you. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. If you guys did enjoy this little teaching session, give me a thumbs up and I will do my best to answer everything that you guys have. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You guys take care.